Imagine you're hiking 16,500 feet up in the Himalayas, and then you stumble upon a lake that is surrounded by hundreds of human skeletons. This isn't the start of a horror movie, although it could be. This is the mystery of Rupkan Lake, also known as Skeleton Lake. The story starts in 1942 when an Indian ranger is tracking rare antelope in the Himalayan mountain range when he stumbles upon a pristine mountain lake. But as he gets closer, he finds something far more disturbing. Human remains scattered around the lake. Some even still had hair and flesh attached to the bones. The locals had their chilling explanation. This was divine punishment from the goddess Nanda Devi. She unleashed a deadly hailstorm on disrespectful pilgrims, turning the lake into their final resting place. This pilgrimage is the longest and most dangerous pilgrimage in Hinduism, taking three weeks to complete. And the most treacherous section is a ridge known as the Path of Death, which coincidentally oversees Rukun Lake. Even though this may seem like a village tale, the scientists felt that there could be some truth behind the mythology and decided to investigate the skeletal remains. But here's where it gets really weird. In 2020, scientists analyzed the DNA of these bones, expecting to find ancient Indian pilgrims. Instead, they found something previously believed to be impossible. The skeletons belonged to three distinct groups. Some were ancient Indians as expected who died somewhere between 700 and 950 CE. One person was from Southeast Asia and the third group, the third group was Greek. Let that sink in. A large group of Mediterranean people somehow ended up dead near a sacred lake 16,000 feet up in the Himalayas a thousand years after the first group died. What is even more bizarre is that there are no historical records of Greeks ever traveling there. No local legends, no documents, nothing. Just hundreds of skeletons with crushed skulls from quote, round, heavy objects, possibly hailstones. 27 scientists from 16 institutions across three continents still can't explain how the Greeks got there or why they died. And want to know something creepier? When an anthropologist visited in 1991, a sudden blizzard almost claimed his life too. It's like the lake is hungry for more visitors.